let me start from the name of the winery. So our wine is called Dushba Wine Cellar. And why we have the word Dushba here? Because our ancestor came from Van in Turkey. And at that time, like 100 years ago, during the genocide, our ancestors were living in, my father's grandfather was living in Van. And Van in ancient times uh, was called Dushba. And also Dushba has been the capital city of Urartu Kingdom. And as an owner to our ancestor, my father Mihran decided to name the winery Dushba because we have this tradition there in Van, but also we have very long history uh, in Armenia of winemaking. And he always wanted to have some work here to go through this direction and uh, try to make something new. And that's why he started winemaking. The winery is founded in 1992, uh, so basically right after the collapse of Soviet Union. Uh, for a lot of people, for a uh, majority of people in Armenia, that was like very difficult, very kind of like black times. A lot of issues we had in the country because that was like post first war, Artsakh war uh, situation. We had uh, lack of energies, we have lack of food, a lot of issues and we didn't have even simple like basic uh, survival you know, needs you know, country-wise. And despite all these issues, uh, Miran decided to, to, go, uh, to go towards his, uh, his uh, passion and, and decided to have his own wine business because he always, since childhood, uh, since the stories that his grandfathers were telling him, he always wanted to have this b wine business to make Armenian wines uh, from this region. And also uh, trying to reflect his, uh, his past, his story of his ancestor. So he did that uh, and he bought this land. Uh, we are in Tapiakan village. Uh, at that time, this land was just empty. And we, the only thing that we had, it, it was just garbage. And only in 1999, we had our uh, first wines. So seven, eight years, we were kind of in a uh, construction phase. And yeah, I remember a lot of stuff here. And all the people that worked here were from our village. And that was quite a happy time. We, we didn't have so many things that we have now, but that was very happy for us because we were on this wonderful journey and, and we are very happy now that Armenia is kind of like back to its roots uh, because you know we have this thousand years of like winemaking tradition so now we produce around 45 almost five, uh, 50 thousand uh, bottles per year and we export in uh, six countries but uh, with small quantities uh, why it's important to mention because we are not um, more on quantity but more like quality and we try to find niche markets not uh, big supermarkets or this kind of stores but more niche markets where we can reach the wine enthusiast and those people who really want to try something new want to try some unknown wines such as Armenia a lot of people especially for big people I mean big producers uh, this can be a disadvantage for, uh, for Armenia, that it's not that known and a lot of people may not want to try Armenian wines. But we, uh, it's, uh, for us, it's more like kind of challenge. It's not a problem, it's a challenge. And we can even convert that into an advantage because, for example, if I share my experience, um, I've experienced that sometimes when I met people all, uh, in the other markets, uh, not in Armenia. Uh, some people say, oh yeah, uh, oh wow, we, we have never tried Armenian wines. And that's very interesting for them because uh, the good news is that they haven't tried and they are very curious to try lesser known countries. And this is, I think, good time for Armenia.